What's up, everyone? My name is Matthew Dale. I'm here to help you play better, sound great, and understand more. And we're going to be in the Axe FX3 today. Some of these techniques will also work on the FM9, probably all of these techniques, but you might need to watch the CPU. And something that I've really been enjoying in my presets as of late uh, is dual amping. I did a video a couple weeks ago uh, about how to kind of get a dual amping sound out of one amp block by using different IRs, um, hard panned left and right um, and I compared that to a preset with um, two amps and two cabs and you know kind of a traditional dual amp setup and I as much as I think there's about 90 or 95 percent uh, overlap between those two sounds I found that actually doing dual uh, dual amping uh, just that extra five to ten percent of goodness can be a lot of fun so I thought what about in the ultimate setting, in the ultimate setup, if we had a wet, dry, dry, wet setup? So this is, you know, even bigger than like a wet, dry, wet, where you would have your uh, mono dry signal and your stereo wet effects. This would be dual amps. And in this preset, we're going to have a matchless D uh, DC30 and a uh, deluxe reverb. Now, this is definitely a, a, a luxury situation, if you will. Uh, you have to have one, four inputs on your soundboard available. So if you have something like, you know, uh, 32 inputs with a band, um, you probably have that available or even, you know, like a bigger 64 channel mixer. But if you're running like a 16 channel mixer, that might be kind of tight. And you also want to probably be using your own sound tech or a consistent sound tech if you're doing this um, a lot of times. So if you're playing in like a pretty large band and your sound tech knows exactly what you got going on and knows how to hook that up and run that live or even I think a really good case use would be um, a worship director uh, or a worship guitar player um, like a standard worship guitar player at a church. That way that setup and that preset is always kind of like you know that sound uh, and you can use that and, and dial that in how you would like. Just a little bit of background on wet, dry, wet, or in this case, wet, dry, dry, wet, um, before we, we get in. Basically, what we're doing is we are separating the wet effects, delay and reverb in my case here, and the dry effects. That way, rather than guessing how wet we should make our ambient tones, reverbs, and delays, we're actually giving all the control over to a sound tech on a soundboard to adjust that as needed which is why you kind of need that perfect trifecta of enough inputs, a standard sound tech, and the right musical space for this sort of setup. I, I'm going to show you how I build out the preset in Axe Edit, then I'm going to show you how I might run this. This is my mixer view over here. So this is Universal Control, the software that uh, runs um, for the Persona Studio Live stuff you can see on the screen when I move the wet effect fader and this is actually two faders because I'm stereo linked uh, you, you'll see that move and when I move my Axe FX faders that stuff will move which is good that's what we want so that's the setup too much talking let's get into the tones I'm playing my Strandberg Bowden NX Fusion uh, already more words than we need I'm playing a guitar Axe FX plugged into the soundboard here we go so let's do input one and probably output one probably around here i'm kind of guessing um but let's get just our dry stuff taken care of first our amp and our cab so amp one cabinet one amplifier number two cabinet flyer number two and we'll connect these up parallel paths here I'm going to move output one just over here because I'm going to do a couple of things. Uh, I want to get a delay here, so let's do like a rhythmic delay directly after these that uh, isn't going to be affected in the wet effects chain. Keep it off for right now. And I also want to do a compressor after this as well. This is a lot of stuff that I got going before I even take a, a listen to it, but I'll kind of show you what I got going on here. So right now I'm going to go up to my blocks library. This is a great chance to uh, click down in the description box and download my blocks library for yourself because you'll see how easy it is to get a complex setup like this going. So I'm going to select my go to matchless D30. I am going to select my go to let's do the deluxe reverb. 
and even even in cabinet land let's use some dyna cabs the dyna chief that's the matchless cabs in here and the dyna cabs let's do the twins i'm gonna make one adjustment on these though because we're doing like dual mono i don't need to um hard pan these irs i actually want to keep these irs on their individual respective paths so zero and zero we are going to send the fender all the way right so we'll adjust the balance there and the matchless all the way to the left so now out of and what i'll do just so we know that everything is working correctly we will mute the bypasses here so here is the matchless on the bridge pickup. I'm going to unstereo link my faders here. And then neck and middle. Seems like G is always my go-to. I'm gonna go to a different key. Let's do E today. So there is the matchless. Here is the fender. Fendery good stuff. Uh, fender on the bridge pickup. Just so you know that we've got all the stereo things happening. Both are now muted out and then both coming in blended together. I'm back in G. Now I'm back in E. Okay, so there uh, are the amp sounds. Again, block library, just great. It's all set up there. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of compression. I'm using the compressor here to just sort of balance out the dynamics between both amplifiers and this delay when I kick this delay in. So something like the Studio FF compressor, this works pretty well. Let's do maybe a ratio of around three. Leaving the mix here, because I want this, this is kind of more like a studio compressor or a compressor at a mixing desk. And it's just kind of like an instant better switch. Uh, so if I turn this off and play. Things sound nice and better. And something else that we'll do here just to kind of make this, I'm probably leaning this in the direction of a modern praise and worship preset because this type of dual amping thing is really common in that style of music. So yeah, let's do a little bit of dotted eighth rhythmic delay. Let's go into the, I actually don't have anything in my block library for this, but I found that the vintage digital sounds really good for this. Dotted eighth delay tones mix it around 15 percent we'll just see what that sounds like here and let me play some of that stuff middle and bridge this time So there is that. I'm just going to turn these down a little bit and let's go ahead and add a little bit of drive. So we will really get all of the drive, um, all of the dry stuff, I should say. Uh, let's do a drive number numero uno and a drive numero dos. On drive one, let's do a light tone of kings. Again, block library. You should download it. And let's do uh, the Klon as a clean boost. Here, bridge pickup, just the amps. Tone of, king, tone of Kings, King of Tone, King of This, whatever. 
That sounds nice, really focuses the mid-range. Here's the climb. Pushing the amplifiers, set down to zero, up to six. Uh, the Klon model in here is pretty powerful, so you don't need to do like you don't need to crank the level to boost the amplifiers on the front end. Uh, and then if we stack it up. <laughs> We've got some lovely stacked drive tones. That is gonna do it for our dry stuff. Now, what do we do with our wets? So I'm gonna leave this untouched. Output one, left and right, stereo for each amplifier. Remember, that's how we have these set up. This cab is going all the way to the left. This cab is going all the way to the right. Let's split down here and let's get a reverb. Let's get, let's really kind of pile it on here. Multi-tap delay number one and multi-tap delay number two. I'm going to use one as an ambient delay and the other as a lead delay. And let's connect all these guys here. Notice these are nowhere near the signal of output one. We're going to put these into output two. I don't have output two set up to copy any signals. When I go to the audio over here, output two, stereo mode, line level plus four DBU, it is, it should not be copying output one. So we want to make sure that that is off. So it's doing its own thing. And now let's pop in output number two. So now this is our wet effects. I want here the London plate in parallel. I want here the ambient setup that I have going here. And then on the lead delay, we're gonna do chorus lead delay that's set up in parallel. Also, because I'm giving all of the control over to the faders on the soundboard side of things, I wanna actually set my levels at zero and just adjust as needed for the mix between all of these all of these levels, uh, all these effects, I should say. Let me show you the faders. I'm gonna mute out our amplifiers and just bring up the reverb. You can hear all it's doing is that reverb. So now, if I mix this in with the dry signals, and now I can control it. Wherever I want for that effect mix. Let's add in this ambient delay here. I might want to adjust where this level is. It's a little bit too in your face. You could do this two ways um, with the output level or the input gain. I'm going to do the output level for me. And that's probably pretty good, around negative nine. Let's increase this. John Marish, some stuff going on there, which I really like. Let's take that off. Let's listen to this lead delay. So this is gonna be a little more of a dual thing going on. I think this sounds pretty good at zero here. And if I play some lead stuff, let's hit the drives and let's play some lead. <laughs> All right, now let's get some quick, easy scenes set up on this. Here's a pretty good tip for this. Uh, I'm not gonna name it yet. I'm not gonna name the scene yet, but this is all the stuff that I want in all the scenes as a standard. I want, you know, my reverbs on channel A and all these guys on channel A, basically want everything on channel A. Sometimes you might want to check the controller and make sure that that's on the channel that you want. Sometimes that'll kind of move around and get squirrely on you. I've run into that issue a time or two. 
Uh, but once you have everything set the way you like it as sort of a standard tone, just go up here to scenes and go copy, uh, copy current scene to all. And that will make everything standard across the board. If you go into your scene manager, you can see amp one, that'll be the same across the board. The delay is the same across the board wherever you had it set. Now we're gonna call this clean and let's do scene two as some, actually let me go to scene one. I want that ambient delay there. Let's do scene two with some dirt from the Tone of Kings. Let's do a lead scene where we have both of these guys going. We swap the delays. Again, these are all parallel delays, so I'm muting the effects in. This delay is in series. I'm muting FX in. This is mute in in parallel, mute FX in for this. We've got lead, and then let's get a clean dotted eighth delay going. Now let's go ahead and hit that save button, and I'm actually going to go over here and here's a couple of fancy ways that we can actually do this uh, when we integrate it into a soundboard so right now i've got this set up my stereo effects um, are gonna be stereo linked basically the entire time what you do with the independent dry chains uh, could change with whatever you want to do right now i'm running dual mono and with dual mono i can set basically how i want to blend my dry together so this is a little bit more fender <laughs> And this is a little bit more matchless. Maybe a little bit more matchless and a little bit more Fender. that bass line after you go so C sharp C B B flat A G sharp G natural F sharp and then down to E just this lovely chromatic bass line sorry nerding out there for a second so another method you could do is actually stereo link these and hard pan them. So now I've got both of the amplifiers and these, because I have these set already um, in my blocks library, these are outputting at a fairly consistent level. So now I've just gotten more stereo width. So I've got the Fender on one side and the Matchless on the other side. it stereo and let's do a little bit of dirt let's do a bit of lead luxury of having you know a dedicated sound person and four inputs and the right musical context this is a wet dry dry wet massive guitar chain brought to you by the axe fx3 using half the outputs on this thing 
as well, right? So output one and output two. My name is Matthew Dale. You can find this preset up on my Patreon. Uh, don't forget to download my block library to get some easy tones in a similar manner to what I did. In this preset, you'll find both of those linked in the description box below. I'm going to play you out with some of this sweet lead tone and a little bit less of the wet effects, and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> Oh, my God.